Assalamu alaikum children and welcome to story station at the library How are you today I hope you had a good week and are enjoying the rainy weather Do you enjoy cloudy skies and splashing around in puddles Yes While we enjoy the weather you should remember to also take care of yourself in this season वैसे तो बारिश में नहाने का बहुत मजा आता है लेकिन अपनी सेहत का ख्याल रखना भी बहुत जरूरी है हैव यू एवर नोटिस्ड हाउ डिफरेंट इंसेक्ट्स कम आउट व्हेन इट रेन्स टू प्रोटेक्ट योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम दीज इंसेक्ट्स यू शुड नेवर गो आउटसाइड विदाउट योर शूज इन द रेन टुडे I'll tell you a story about a centipede. Have you ever seen a centipede? Ise Urdu mein kankhajura kehte hain. People are usually afraid of centipedes. They have a hard covering over their bodies and have several legs. Did you know that centipede can have 15 to 30 pairs of legs centipedes like to live in damp and dark places and you can usually find them in your garden yani andheri aur nami wali jagah mein rehte hain aur dusre chote keede khate hain this was all about centipedes But before we read about Mr. Centipede and his friends, let's look at some words from the story. Now, let's learn some new words together so that you can understand the story easily. The first word is annoyed. Annoyed means to be slightly angry. और इरिटेटेड इसका मतलब है नाराज होना वेन अ फ्लाई इज बजिंग नियर योर फेस इट कैन बी वेरी अनोइंग डोंट यू थिंक कैन यू से दर्ड विथ मी अनोइड 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 Good job. The next word is confused. This means to be unable to think clearly. Iska matlab hai uljhan mein hona. For example, when I go to buy a new pencil box, I get confused because I like so many of them. Let's say the word together. Confused. 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 Well done. Our next word is whisper. Whisper means to speak very softly so that only the person near you can hear what you're saying. इसको उर्दू में खरगोशी करना कहते हैं हैव यू एवर विस्पर टू योर फ्रेंड इन द क्लासरूम और लाइब्रेरी नाउ से दर्ड विथ मी विस्पर 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 दैट्स ग्रेट द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज फॉर गॉटन When you fail to remember something, it means you have forgotten it. इसका मतलब है भूल जाना. I have forgotten how to bake cookies. पहले आता था, लेकिन अब मैं भूल गई हूँ. Now repeat the word after me. Forgotten. forgotten 
forgotten. Excellent. The last word is blinking. Blinking means to open and close our eyes quickly. Blinking ko urdu mein aankh chapkana kehte hain. We all blink our eyes after every few seconds. Now say the word with me. Blinking 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 Great job everyone! I hope you will remember and understand all these words while we listen to the story. And now I am going to read you the story. The title of this story is Best Foot Forward. It's written by Rustam Dada Janji and illustrated by Tanvi Bhatt. There are six characters in this story. A dragonfly whose name is Dame Damselfly, Big Beetle, Tick Insect, Elder Ant, Lady Spider and Mr. Centipede. Let's begin our story. A perfect day for a walk, thinks Mr. Centipede. What better way to keep my 42 feet strong and fit? At the end of each foot, Mr. Centipede wears a bold, bright, beautiful boot. That is, 21 pairs of boots for all 42 feet. Whom does he first meet but Dame Damselfly? What big boots you have on! He says. Tell me, Mr. Centipede. Which leg do you place before which when you go walking? Why, this leg, of course, says Mr. Centipede, lifting leg number two. Right, actually, this leg. He lifts leg number four. Mr. Centipede is going for a walk. But how does he get ready to go out? Yes, he wears his boots on all 42 of his feet. Kya aapko lagta hai ki Mr. Centipede jaldi tayar ho sakenge? So, I think it will take him a lot of time to wear all of his boots. Did you notice how beautiful his boots were? Mr. Centipede wore different bright colored boots on all of his feet. Jab Mr. Centipede bahar nikle, to unse Dame Damselfly ne sawal kiya. She asked him which leg does he place first when he walks. Aur Mr. Centipede ne kya jawab diya? He said he lifts leg number two first. And then he said he actually lifts leg number four first. Mr. Centipede ne mukhtale jawab kyun diye? That's right. He got confused. Let's read on and see what happens next. Such fine boots. Says the big beetle. Tell me, Mr. Centipede, which leg do you place before which when you go walking? What a silly question, says Mr. Centipede, annoyed. He sticks out leg number three and puts it down quickly. 
He sticks out leg number six instead. Mr. Beetle को भी Mr. Centipede के रंग बरंगे जूते बहुत पसंद आए और उसने भी यही सवाल किया कि Mr. Centipede चलते हुए कौन सा पैर पहले आगे बढ़ाते हैं Now, Mr. Centipede is getting annoyed by these questions. Dame Damsel Fly और Mr. Beetle के वही सवाल पूछने पर Mr. Centipede गुस्से में आ गए और नाराज हो गए आप चलते हुए कौन सा पैर पहले उठाते हैं वेन आई वॉक आई लिफ्ट माई राइट लेग फर्स्ट एंड देन माई लेफ्ट लेग वॉट इज है Whispers Dame Damsel Fly. In all this time, even though he has so many boots, he has been unable to take a single step. What did Dame Damsel Fly tell Elder Ant? He told her that Mr. Centipede was very confused now. And He was having some trouble walking. I think Dame Damsel Fly was very kind. He could understand that Mr. Centipede was very confused and noticed that he was having some trouble answering their questions. Is that so? says Elder Ant with a sigh. Tell me, Mr. Centipede, which leg do you place before which when you go for a walk? What's happened now? Elder Ant asked the same question. Kya aapke saath aisa hua hai ki koi aisa kaam jo aap aaram se karte ho achanak aapko uljha de? How do you think Mr. Centipede feels now? Let's see. I'll start simply with this one. There's Mr. Centipede lifting leg number 4. Oh no. I mean that one. He lifts leg number 8. Oh no. None of them. I mean one of them. Oh no. I have forgotten what I mean. Oh no. Poor Mr. Centipede. He's really confused now and seems quite upset. He's even thinking that he has forgotten how to walk. Can anyone help him? Let's read on and find out What happens next? Run, run quickly. They hear a voice. Who is that? Cries Big Beetle. I am Stick Insect. You with all those boots had better run. कहानी में आगे क्या हुआ दिग इंसेक्ट वॉज टेलिंग एवरी वन स्पेशली मिस्टर सेंटिपीड टू रन आपके ख्याल में वो ऐसा क्यों कर रहा था आई थिंक द इंसेक्ट आर इन डेंजर एंड समथिंग वुड बी कमिंग टू अटैक दम बट डू यू थिंक Mr Centipede would be able to run He has even forgotten how to walk I dekhte hain ki kya hota hai I have spotted a black bird This bird's stick insect She seems quite hungry 
and ready for breakfast. She cannot see me because I look like the tree bark I am resting on. But she sure can see you, dressed up in those big, bright, colorful boots. Run, run quickly! Ha ha ha! The stick insect laughs. What is so funny? Asks Lady Spider, who just swung by for a visit. क्या कोई खतरा था? जी, a hungry blackbird was looking for breakfast, and she could hunt the insects. The stick insect was quite confident that the blackbird wouldn't see him because he looked just like the bark of a tree. लेकिन Mr. Centipede, blackbird से महफूज नहीं थे। It was easy for the bird to see him because he was wearing different bright colored boots. Why was the stick insect laughing? I am curious to find out. There was no blackbird. There's stick insect. It was just a trick to have some fun and make all those boots run. You will agree now that it is done. Mr. Centipede sure can run. Oh my! The stick insect was playing a trick to make Mr. Centipede run. Do you think his trick worked? Isn't it funny that Mr. Centipede was finding it difficult to take a single step but had no trouble running? This could happen to any of us. There are things we do every day without realizing, like blinking or moving our hands while talking. But if we pay careful attention to how often we blink or in what way our hands move, we may get confused. This is called the centipede's dilemma or Humphrey's law. Click insect's trick really worked. And Mr. Centipede, dressed up in his colorful boots, ran away. It seems that Mr. Centipede had not forgotten how to walk or run. He was just confused by the questions of all the other insects. How do you think Mr. Centipede could run? when he was so confused about walking. Well, what happens is that there are so many things we do naturally, like blinking, without even thinking about them. But if we think too much, then we get confused and start making mistakes. I hope you enjoyed listening to this story. In this story, we saw how Mr. Centipede got confused when others asked him about how he walked. This happens to all of us. Sometimes we forget to do something like singing our favorite poem or dance to a song because we think too much about it or get nervous and confused. But when we stop thinking too much and start working hard, we remember it. That's the end of our story. But don't go anywhere because we've prepared a wonderful song about a centipede. Join me and try to sing along.
A centipede will certainly need a hundred stripy socks. But what will he do when his socks were through from climbing trees and rocks? What will he do when his socks were through when all of his socks were out? He'll sit in a heap and start to weep and his mother begins to shout. I bought you ten, bought you twenty, bought you thirty, forty, fifty, bought you sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, bought you a hundred socks. So off you go. Now, Sunny, do you think I'm made of money? Until I can afford to buy you more, you can keep your feet right off the floor. A centipede would certainly need a hundred tiny boots. But what will he do when his boots were through from wriggling under roots? What will he do when his boots were through when all of his boots were out? He'll sit in a heap and start to weep and his mother begins to shout. I bought you ten, bought you twenty, bought you thirty, forty, fifty, bought you sixty, Seventy, eighty, ninety. But you a hundred boots, so off you go. Now, Sunny, do you think I'm made of money? Until I can afford to buy you more, you can keep your feet right off the floor. Did you like our song? Keep watching for an exciting activity. Now we are going to make a beautiful pencil holder for your stationery at home. For this activity you will need 3 tissue rolls Red and black markers, a paper cup, a glue stick, a ruler, a pair of scissors, a pencil and three different colored papers. For the first step, we will take the tissue roll and measure its height. We are doing this so that we know the amount of yellow paper needed to cover the tissue roll. I am using a ruler and measuring the height of the tissue roll. It's around 9 cm. To this, I am going to add 2 cm and mark it on the yellow paper. Next, we are going to measure the outer surface of the tissue roll so that we can use the yellow paper to cover the outer surface. Using the pencil, I am drawing a small line on the inner part of the tissue roll. This will serve as a start and end point. I am placing it against the edge of the yellow paper and then I am just going to roll it. I am rolling it until I see the mark back on the yellow paper. I have marked this. This will be the length of the tissue roll. This is the amount of paper needed to cover the tissue roll.
With the help of a ruler, I am drawing the line. To this mark, I am going to add 2 more centimeters which comes to around 18 centimeters in length. Next, I am marking the height of the tissue roll which is around 11 centimeters. Next, I'm going to cut out the rectangle. Make sure that you ask your parents or an adult to help you while using scissors. Kagas kaatte hue, wal den ya kisi bade ki madad zaroor leen. We are using this yellow paper as a reference for the other two sheets. I am placing the yellow paper on the blue paper and cutting it accordingly. Next, I am following the same process for the green sheet as well. Kagas kaatte hue, walden ya kisi bade ki madad zaroor leen. Next, we are going to paste all the colored sheets on the tissue rolls. I am taking the glue stick and applying it on the corners of the blue colored paper. Next, I am placing the tissue roll on the blue paper and then rolling them both together. Gently press on the blue paper so that it sticks to the tissue roll. We will then fold the extra paper at the top and the bottom of the tissue roll inwards. We are going to press the other edge as well. Excellent everyone! The first pencil holder is ready! We are following the same process for the other two pencil holders as well. You can add as many tissue holders as you like to your pencil holder. That way, you can use it to store all of your stationery. I am folding in the excess sheet for the yellow paper as well. I am repeating the same steps with the green paper and my last tissue roll. Next, we are going to stick the three rolls together.
I am taking the yellow roll and applying a line of glue on it as well. Next, I am going to place these two rolls together and gently press them. I am holding them together in place so that they stick properly. Next, I am going to apply glue on the other side of the yellow tissue roll. I'll take the green roll and apply some glue on it as well. Once again, I'll place these rolls together and gently press. For the next step, I'm using the remaining colored sheets, a pencil, a ruler and scissors. I'm going to draw a small rectangle on the yellow paper using a pencil and a ruler. The rectangle will be 4 cm long, so I'm measuring that and marking it on the yellow paper. It's going to be 2 cm wide and I'm going to mark that as well. Next, I'll draw out the line to complete the rectangle shape. Note that we are recycling all the remaining colored papers from the previous step. Next, we are going to cut out this small rectangle. Next, I'm going to mark out a rectangle of the same size on the blue paper as well. These rectangles will help us make the feet of the centipede pencil holder. Next is the green paper and I'm drawing the rectangle on it once again. Make sure that you ask your parents or an adult to help you while using scissors. We now have the small rectangles ready to be pasted on the pencil holders. Stack the three rectangles on top of each other. Next, fold them in half lengthwise and press gently. Open it up and with the help of scissors, cut them in half. We now have the feet ready to be pasted on the pencil holder. Each pencil holder will get one pair of feet. Using glue stick, we are now going to stick these feet on the pencil holder. Apply glue at the edge of the rectangle. Place it on the pencil holder and press gently. Repeat the same steps with the remaining pencil holders. Gently press all the glued pieces together and turn the pencil holder over. Paste the feet on the other side of the pencil holder as well. Good job everyone! We are almost there! Next, to make the head of the centipede pencil holder, we'll need a pair of scissors, green paper, a paper cup, and a pencil. We are going to draw a circle using the rim of the paper cup. You can use any household teacup for this purpose. Draw the circle on the green paper using the pencil. Next, 
I am taking the scissors to cut out this circle. याद रखिए क्रेंची इस्तेमाल करते हुए अपने बाल बैन या किसी बड़े की मदद जरूर लें नेक्स्ट वी आर यूजिंग द सेम ग्रीन कलर पेपर टू ड्रॉ आउट द एंटीना ऑफ द सेंटीपीट आई एम मेजरिंग अ टेन सेंटीमीटर्स लॉन्ग थिन स्ट्रिप एंड मार्किंग इट on the green paper Next I'm going to cut the small rectangle out Now fold the strip in half and press. Twist it slightly to make a V shape. We now have the head and the antenna of the centipede. Next, we are going to draw the eyes and the mouth on the head of the centipede. I'm drawing two ovals for the eyes of the centipede and coloring them in. I've given the centipede big eyelashes and you can do that as well. I'm using the red marker to give the centipede a huge lovely smile. Next, we are going to paste the antenna on the back of the centipede's head. Turn the head over and apply glue at the top of the head. Paste the antenna onto it and gently press. Now, we are going to paste the head on the pencil holder. At the back of the head, apply some glue at the bottom. And paste it on the blue tissue roll. Gently press so that it sticks in place. Excellent everyone. Our centipede pencil holder is ready. Thank you for joining me and the lovely insects. Catch us next week for another exciting episode of Story Station at the Library. Bye, Khuda Fiz.